video is about Paddy McCart, the Derry Pele. Please don't sell McCart, Paddy McCart. Paddy McCart's fiend in the army, the man himself. So he was at Celtic for, from 2008 up to 2013. Won two leagues and two cups. I'm going to just talk about his career. Obviously, his early days growing up in Derry, moving on, getting his first professional contract at Rochdale. Didn't really work out well at Rochdale. He ended up going signing for Shamrock Rovers. He was at Shamrock Rovers for a couple of years. Then he took the trip back up to Derry, his hometown. He played against his hometown club. I played for his hometown club. And funny enough, about Paddy McCart, my only League of Ireland game I've ever been to was Shelbourne and Derry City. And Paddy McCart scored two that night in Tonka Park. Actually two cracking goals as well. So um, he was at Derry. Then in 2008, we signed him. We signed him from Derry. It was a fee of like, I think it was like 200 grand at the time we signed him for. So um, obviously he was highly rated, playing for the Northern Ireland um, international team. He's playing there, he was doing quite well for Northern Ireland at the time as well. So um, quite good with his feet. Very good dribbling at the ball. Um, wasn't the fastest player. Don't get me wrong. But as I said, when the ball was at his feet, it stuck and he was quite good. Um, I had a big mop of hair for a long, long time. He did like something like you think of Paddy McCart, you think of like, Oh, I'm gonna see Paddy now in the rock bar, or I'm gonna see Paddy in the brazen head or something playing tonight. He had that kind of look about him, but such a legend. Loved his alcohol, loved his bills, like most Irish do. Absolute class. Um, he had spells obviously at Barnsley, Brighton, and Finn Harps as well, and another team as well from Northern Ireland. He, he played in Northern Ireland, like Glen or something like that. But at Celtic, goals that stick out to me, obviously his first goal was it was a rainy night up in Falkirk, played Falkirk in the, the League Cup and he took the ball outside of the box, smashed a far right corner. It's just unbelievable goal. He wore the number 20 short when he was at the club as well. And that goal, then he scored against Inverness as well. Then that goal, the one that probably his best goal for Celtic has to be the one where he was against St. Mary in the way. We were wearing the Bumblebee jersey, that bad boy behind me. Took the ball, skinned it past four players, dribbled into the right-hand side of the box and smashed into the far left corner and just ran, ran up it. You know, I'm Paddy McCart and that's just casual for me. But um, yeah, that was a good one as well. He's got a cracking goal against St. Pauli in the pre-season, the following, following season as well. Um, he was a part of the goal scoring team that smashed ha Aberdeen nine 0 as well. I was gonna say Hearts, Hearts is next. Smashed Aberdeen nine 0 as well, and then that goal as well against um Hearts. I was at that game, the three 0 when he came off the bench. It was like it was in around the eighty late eighty minutes. Got the ball eighty third minute. Got the ball. Left hand side of the box took around three players, dinked around the keeper. Absolute cracker of a goal. Now, don't get me wrong, Paddy is not the greatest salad player of all time. Not even near there. He only played 66 times for the club with nine goals. I just think what people loved about him was he was from Derry, loved Celtic, Celtic to the core, and people loved seeing these. Like the club did end up getting into, fina um, into financial trouble with UEFA over singing Paddy McCart's Fiend and Army, the boys, the boys sung in the stands. But it was a fine, and that was it. But, um, I was worth it. His last game for Celtic was in the Scottish Cup final, two thousand and thirteen against Hibs. So he came on. He came off the bench and he got the captain's armband. Quite an emotional um time from. But he's been through a, a a couple of rough years. He's um his wife was sick for a while. Um, he's a bit better now. Um, and basically he's at the quitting. He quit Finn Hart last season, and he's at the taking a, a job at Derry City. Head of football, you know, like he's gonna do well. He's gonna obviously he's gonna look at the resources of the youth of Derry City, build up, get some pl good players coming through, you know, some good players there. But um, Derry City has been a good club in recent times for Celtic. Obviously, like Duffy, um, Duffy that played for Michael Duffy, obviously James McLean. I know James McLean never played for Celtic, but there's another Tim as well. Um, Shane Duffy as well never played for Celtic one day hopefully he'll play for Celtic and um, Noel McGain as well um, there's a few 
Derry boys in there. But yeah, I thought I'd do one about Paddy McCart. Like, what was your favourite Paddy McCart moment? Was it the St. Mirren? Was it the goal he scored against Inverness away? One of the opening games of the season where he took the ball, literally on the edge of the box, and he smashed it in. Nice goal in the green jersey. But he was criticised playing for Northern Ireland, but he never got picked for the Republic for some reason. But he scored a cracking goal for Northern Ireland. Um, it was... Was it against it was against the Faroe Islands. He got the ball left hand side of the wing, skinned the bass two boys, and literally dinked the keeper. Now obviously I don't support Northern Ireland. I don't give Northern Ireland praise, but if it's Paddy McCourt, I'm gonna give him praise, you know. So um yeah, look at fair play to him. Fair play to him. Look at I wish he played more, but he wasn't fit. It was down to everybody say, Oh, why is McCourt not playing? Why is he wasn't playing? Because I remember a couple of years before that. We were playing then um, Peterhead in the Scottish Cup, and people were like, Paddy McCart's actually playing. What's going on here? Like, you know, he's fit, he's fit, yeah, he's definitely fit. But, um, he was a good player for Barnsley, done very good at Barnsley. He met, he was in the championship, made a show of some, some good teams there. He was good at Brighton as well, good side, obviously playing up in Donegal for Finn Harps was a good one as well. Um, yeah, just a Rovers, he wasn't bad, but Derry City was that's where he was the, the creme, you know, that's where. He outshined, you know. Obviously, the brandy well is a good stamp, stomping ground as well. But yeah, 66 appearances. Only fair I think he played 20 times for Celtic. And to be honest, in that time, I've been watching Paddy McCart. But yeah, let us know what your favourite Paddy McCart moment. What's your favourite song? Is it Please Don't Sell McCart? Is it Paddy McCart's Fee and Army? You know, which one? Which one is the Derry Pele? You know, which one? Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't be a fanny. Subscribe if you already subscribed. Hail, hail. Hail, hail. Absolute legends. Absolute legends. Best for, best supporters on YouTube, Boy and Moyle, and Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter. I appreciate the support. Only for you as I wouldn't do this business. But um, thank you very much again. Hope you enjoy. And I'll be back soon. Comment below and tell me what throwback player you want. I've done Nakamura. I've done Sam Ras. I've done Chris Sutton. I've done, um, I've done Neil Lennon. I've done Gary Hooper, I've done um, Paddy Roberts, I've done Kieran Tini, I've done I've done got I've done the Maestro himself, Paul McStay, I've done um, Billy McNeil, Chalmers. I'm just gonna the names go on like I've done loads. I've done loads. I haven't done Henry Clarkson. I'm afraid to do Henry Clarkson because there's so many moments. I'll probably go on for about half an hour. But um, yeah, let us know. Let us know who you just want next. I want to do Bobo Baldy. But I'm afraid to do Bobo Balde because I'm afraid Bobo's going to get me. So I don't know about Bobo. Maybe Jackie Mack. Since Jackie follows the page, I might do Jackie Mack. But um, see you all soon. I'll stop talking, shy. See you all soon. Hell, hell.